So sorry about that, children. We just got cut off again. Clearly, Mrs. Malik likes to waffle. Um, so we just went through section to number B on this one. And I was saying that it must be 50 millimetres or 50 centimetres. Well, 50 millimetres, if you look carefully on your ruler, is on a ruler that you'd normally use to underline your date and wall. So that's not likely either. The best one would be your 50 centimetres, which is half a metre. Now, the mass of a car... Um, which one have you put for this? So looking carefully, a 15 kg is normally the weight you have for hand luggage when you go on holiday. Sometimes if you're unfortunate, it's the actual full weight of your suitcase. So that's the not likely. It's not likely to be less than that. So the answer there is 1.5 tonnes. And the final one, the length of a football pitch, well, your 100 metres is what... Uh, the sprint that Usain Bolt does, that's not going to be the length. It might be the width, but not the length. 100 centimetres, that's just one metre. You've got 100 kilometres or 100 millimetres. Well, clearly that one is 100 kilometres. So hopefully you got those right. So what I'd like you to do now, you're going to pause. Um, I want you to have a think about this question, this statement. It's impossible to measure the school field using centimetres. Now, we've just said that we'd measure it using metres or kilometres, like a football field. But could you use it? Because Mo says it's impossible to measure the school field. Write down what you think or write it in a comment box on Shobi and send it in to Miss Seckham. So do you agree with Mo? Yes or no? And explain your thinking. If you were doing this question in a test, you would not get a mark for just saying yes or no. You have to explain why. So once you get pause the video and send your answer in on Shobi, and I'll have a look. Okay. So we've done a lot there of me talking and you having a go and then uh, me giving the answers. What I want to do now for the rest of your time that you're spending on your maths is I want you to get... Um, exploring in your house. So first of all, I want you to find a ruler. And I've realised I've spelt ruler wrong now on this slide. That was very clever of me. So well done if you spotted that spelling mistake. I want you to get your weighing scales if you can and get yourself a measuring jug if you can. And what I want you to do around your house is find different things to measure. So you might be measuring the length of something, the mass or the capacity. What I want you to do is make an, uh, an estimate on the sheet that's provided for you on Shobi. I want you to make an estimate. Then I want you to measure and see if you are right. But you need to make sure you're obviously measuring with the appropriate measuring apparatus. So, for example, if you are measuring the capacity of your favourite um, glass, you're not going to use a ruler. You're going to use a measuring jug. So use the best one. Uh, and then, like I say, you're going to record this on the sheet that I'm going to put on Shobi. Now, bear in mind with these children, I want you to enjoy this and explore as many different things as you can. But please bear in mind, if you've got other people in the house who are working, please don't disturb them. And anything you get out, make sure you put it back um, so we're not making a mess, because otherwise I'm going to get lots of emails from your parents. So enjoy this explore, exploring measure lesson. Um, make sure when you record your work, you are recording in the correct units. Okay. Have a great lesson. I'll look forward to seeing what you have recorded.